Hey people and welcome back to this channel. Sorry it's been a while since I last had posted a scientific video. So today I want to give you something special. I put together a self resonating induction heater that does not need any special programming skills, Arduino chips or other logic circuitry and simply runs on feedback. This circuit is not a Mazzilli driver. It uses a half bridge. It uses a feedback uh, mechanism shown here and I'm using a uh, tank circuit, which consists of some high voltage capacitors that are connected in series with a five turn coil. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use this. Turn it on. You um, turn the power on from the variac to the half bridge put some energy in and then switch it to resonant mode and then up the power. And here's um, some metal heating up there. And you can easily melt steel with this. The way an induction heater works, particularly this one, is that it has a coupling transformer here, which has an oscillating magnetic field that goes this way and then that way and then this way and induces uh, a current to flow in this coil, which flows backwards and forwards. Uh, when it flows into the coil, it builds up in a magnetic field. And then that magnetic field gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it collapses and then forms a charge back in the core, which then charges up these capacitors, which charge to maximum uh, voltage. And then when that voltage reaches a maximum, it then flows back through the coil as current, which builds up the magnetic field again. And this process goes backwards and forwards um, in this tank circuit until the energy reaches a maximum amount, which is the resonant frequency. So that resonant frequency can build up a maximal amount of energy in this tank circuit. And um, that energy can then be used to heat various metal objects. So you have very huge currents flowing through this copper coil at resonance. Those huge currents induce uh, currents to flow in workpieces such as these washers or this bolt. Uh, and those huge currents become so large that they result in heating of the metal. So for, ex for example, there's six turns here and a workpiece such as this piece of metal can be thought of as a single shorted turn. And if there's iron, like this is made of steel, then there's another process that also takes place and that's the magnetic dipoles within the, the metal become oriented uh, with the magnetic field as it oscillates and they move backwards and forwards and that results in additional heating. And that's why ferrous metals such as steel and iron can get to really high temperatures. So that's the basic principle. The yellow trace is the inverter voltage and the blue trace is the tank current. This is the voltage on the MOSFET gates at self-resonance. Now here I'm inductively heating up another piece of steel. Okay, last one. There's a workpiece, getting very hot very quickly and smoking. I think that's a bunch of zinc oxide that's coming off of it. A little bit dangerous to breed that stuff. Let's see if we can make this metal melt.
So here's our melted bolt. And some other things that have been melted. So this thing seems to be really robust and have not yet blown the MOSFET or even had them heat up. So, and I've really pushed this thing. Uh, what you were seeing there is 120 volts going into it. So it seems to be pretty reliable up to 120 volts and um, very easy to, to start. You just basically press one button, press another button, and then you're, then you're going. So there's no need for any special tuning. It just uh, locks on. So um, in my next video, I'm gonna post the circuit and explain how this thing works. So um, please um, check back on for my next video. And um, if you don't, um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you like these type of videos. And uh, thanks for checking in. Good night.